hey girlfriends welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new here my name is Jeronica Mycia but all my friends call me G and if you're a turning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face and if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe do not forget to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads so in today's video I'm going to be sharing five fashion mistakes that you're probably making and you probably don't even know you're making them I have a few tips and recommendations on how you can improve and turn this whole thing around girl so if you're interested in this type of video keep watching all right girl so right now it is hot outside and right now is probably around the time you're going to see the most fashion mistakes being made and the things that I'm going to share with you today hopefully they can carry you through um the spring summer months because you know in the fall winter it's I'm not gonna say it's hard to make fashion mistakes because of course you can pair the wrong things together but I feel like around this time is when I see the most like fashion mistakes but I, before we get into the video I have a few pieces that I picked up from Express that I feel like kind of like flows into this video because with these pieces you can also make horrible mistakes um and I'm gonna kind of like walk you through a few tips on how to elevate the looks or how to not make fashion mistakes if that makes any sense these pieces are basically great for spring summer these are the pieces that are new in from express and if we're being honest y'all right now I am literally high key obsessed with express i feel like right now they have great quality pieces that can really take you through spring summer not just this year the years to come so i feel like the pieces that i got you girls are going to love them and i also want to say thanks so much to express for sponsoring this portion of the video so let's just hop right into it so the first two items i picked up they're going to be this two-piece set these both of these items can be worn separately i decided to pair them together because i thought this color is like this lime green gorgeous anything that's going to be like an asymmetrical cut i love the detailing on the top now the top is a crop top so you can wear them with high-waisted trousers high-waisted jeans um the skirt i got the top in a size medium which i'm so happy i did because these pieces are very very stretchy i got the bottom the skirt in a size large i could have gotten it in a medium because around the waist i do have a lot of um a lot of room i'm just for me i'm not going to return it and get another size i would rather get it taken in because i also like the way it fits this is these pieces are so this is a knitted piece also these pieces are so luxe and they feel very very thick but still breathable that i can wear them in the summertime when it's um very warm outside i love the fact that it's not that very fitted tight restricting material in the summertime girl i don't want a lot of things touching my body so i love that i'm going to just get the um waist taken in instead of going down a size i feel like if i go down the size every time i walk i'm going to have to try to like pull it down but however if i go to the mall i will go in and like try on the medium just to see how it fit but i love the length and everything about this now when it comes to these two pieces you can it's so easy to make a fashion mistake with the um wrong wrong undergarments with this so you have to have the right undergarments with these pieces because i feel like if you do not these two pieces are very very fine they're very luxe and they have like a thick material but if you have on the wrong wrong undergarments like uh, panties or something it's going to show through and we don't want that or if you have on the wrong bra it's going to show through by having that detailing you want to make sure you have on the proper undergarments like a half a bra or you can even do a band bando bandu top um underneath this with this two piece i would definitely recommend getting the perfect undergarments to just get a seamless finish i would love this in black they also have it in black but absolutely love this color for um spring summer next up i have another two piece set and like i always say anytime it's warm outside or even when it's cold outside girl i live for me a two piece set anything that's gonna coordinate together i feel like it just makes it so easy to get dressed and me personally i don't like to think hard it doesn't have to be like this brain surgery a type of task when i'm getting dressed i want it to just flow okay and two-piece sets they're going to just help you right now express have some great two-piece sets great quality and i love 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 this it is this linen material um bandu top that ties in a bow and it have this skirt i also got the skirt in a large the top in a large because i'm a little um heavier in the bus with the top i feel like the top fits perfect i did pair it with a half a bra i have on a black half a bra i feel like i would 
probably invest in like maybe a nude or a pink the black didn't really go well but that's the only one that i had um with the skirt as you guys can see it is a little big on me so i'm also going to get the waist taken in because it's always like that i'm very hippie so i can't really go down in size because it's not going to fit properly on me which is one of the things that we're going to talk about in this video so i would rather size up and then get it taken in in the waist and that's exactly what i'm going to do with this however the skirt i'm going to tell you i would probably suggest you size down because this skirt is very stretchy i did not know that the um pieces had that much stretch it's very comfortable very breathable and i decide to go for pink you guys know i'm not a pink girl but i think this looks really cute on me it's not like that very harsh or fuchsia neon like out there pink it's more of like a mauve or a baby soft pink so i'm loving this and this also comes in sand which is the color that i'm wearing right now i didn't go for that because i feel like for me it's a little safe and i wanted to step out of my comfort zone now when it comes to making fashion mistakes with this look that is so easy once again i would say proper undergarments both of these pieces can be broken up and wear worn with um separate pieces but me personally all i would have to do is invest in me another half a bra and also with the um bottom by it being that kind of breathable material if i wear the wrong panties or undergarments it's just gonna be a fashion mistake and also when it comes to mixing linen with different things me personally i don't like to mix linen with a lot of different materials i feel like linen is a very casual material so you have to be very picky and choosy about what different um fabrics that you mix with it which we're also going to get into details later on in this video but i absolutely love this two-piece set and i can't wait to get it altered because as you can tell and see in the video i pulled it in the back of my waist and it just chef's kiss great not good great next up i picked up this bodysuit because i don't have this color i have a few of these bodysuits from different places and i keep hearing the girls rave about the bodysuits from um express so i was like you know what let me give it a try right now i'm really into like the sand color and y'all i love this bodysuit it's so soft so luxe and breathable and i was like oh my god i I need more colors and they have so many different vibrant colors now with this um bodysuit it's a part of their contour collection which i keep also hearing great things about um you guys saw the green the green two-piece set i believe is also a part of the contour body collection now with this bodysuit i would definitely recommend going down to one to two sizes because it's very stretchy and as you guys can see i got it in a large my regular size and i have a lot of room i could definitely go down in um to a medium so i could have that more contoured look but these bodysuits definitely recommend and i love the fact that it is a thong um closure in the bottom so i also don't have any panty lines which will also create a fashion mistake so these bodysuits are definitely 10 out of 10 for me and i would love well i'm going to get them and a few more colors not too many just a few last but certainly not least i picked up another two-piece set of course right and it is gonna be the set that i'm wearing right now girl she screams spring summer okay it is this linen metallic two-piece set i've never seen anything like it me personally if i'm being honest i'm not a linen girl i i've never been a linen girl it was just never my vibe until i picked up these pieces from express linen has always just been very casual very not my vibe i like a little oomph okay a little zhuzh and this is when i saw this i'm like okay that's my take on linen that's what i need it has metallic specks in it so it doesn't look very flat oh it's gorgeous okay and it has uh, volume detailing in the sleeves which you guys know i love and the shorts when it comes to shorts i'm always having a hard time these shorts are thick girl friendly if you're a curvy girl you have hips you have thighs the shorts will fit you they're the paperback um style of short they have pockets they are high-waisted i got my shorts in a large i got the top also in a large because anything that's going to have like this opening v-cut that ties i want it to cover the girls the girls are a little bit out but it's summertime girl whatever but um with the shorts they're short enough because I don't like really, really short shorts. I feel like it can just completely take away and from a look and just give me 
a look that I'm not going for. With these shorts, I would definitely recommend these shorts, even if you don't really, the top isn't your vibe. The shorts is something that you can pair with different bodysuits, you can pair with other um, tops. Even with this top, I can pair, pair the top with a pair of straight leg jeans and have a whole completely different look. All of these pieces can be worn with different things in your wardrobe. That's what I love about them. It's like fabulous staples or fabulous um, pieces that you can just really mix in seamlessly with your uh, in your wardrobe. All of these pieces, the quality is amazing. And y'all, when I tell you, you need to run over to Express, all of these pieces will be linked down below. So if you're interested in it, girl, check out the description box for all of the details. And once again, thanks so much to Express for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, so the first fashion mistake that you're probably making is going to be with undergarments. When it comes to undergarments, you need to always make sure you're wearing the proper undergarments that fit the look that you're going for or the look that you are wearing. If you have on tight-fitted clothes and you want it to be very seamless and smooth, get some shapewear. Always make sure you're wearing a bra, wearing a bra that works best with the... um top or the dress that you're wearing if you have on a spaghetti strap top try to put on a half a bra the best half a bras that I personally use and I have large breasts girl I actually pick them up from like Target okay so you don't have to spend a lot of money on undergarments however I definitely think undergarments is a great investment invest in your undergarments because it's going to pay off i feel like when people wear the proper undergarments it just makes your look look so elevated and clean now when it comes to like i say bras you want to make sure you're wearing the right panties so we we don't want to have panty lines if you want that seamless if you know you're going to wear a body con or a tight fitted dress or something invest in you some nice shapewear now me personally i don't wear shapewear but however i am kind of like skimming through trying to see which brand i want to invest in because i feel like i'm at the point now where the clothing items that i want to wear i'm not really a fitted clothing type of girl but i do have a few pieces that I, I need some shapewear to wear them now i personally don't wear shapewear because i never want to rely on shapewear i feel like when i put on something and my stomach looking a little mm, or I got a little dense and cellulite in certain places, it kind of holds me accountable. I'm like, okay, it's time to do your lunch, just get back in the gym. So I just, I never wanted to rely on shapewear in order to look good in my clothes, if that makes any sense. But I'm realizing it's not just about trying to hide your extra weight. It's because I want my, I need to invest in shapewear because I have a lot of nice fitted dresses that, it just needs a seamless look. I don't need to turn around and see, you know, different elements. I need a seamless, beautiful finish to give me that elevated look that I would love to go for. When it comes to bras, I always, I don't care how much the bra is, girl. When I try on a bra and it's comfortable and it's also versatile that I can wear different ways with different pieces, I'm always going to um, invest in my undergarments because I've learned over the years how important important undergarments are. So just invest in you some nice undergarments, girl. I said all of that to say this. Invest in you some nice undergarments that will help give you the clean, ladylike look that we're going for. Next fashion mistake is going to be mixing the wrong fabrics and textures and for those of you who don't understand what I mean now this can be subjective I mean you can do whatever you like I'm just speaking from my opinion and things that I have seen and the way I talk to my friends because they be like gee I could wear this I'm like no you can't one if it is hot outside there's no reason for you to have on a wool fedora there's so many different options wool does not mix in the summer spring leave it for fall winter if you want to wear a fedora you can go ahead and get you a wool not a wool a straw fedora there's so many a, a visor there's so many different options i have been seeing so many wool hats with summer dresses it's a no leave it alone also mixing leather into summer outfits no when you want to dress for the season whatever season it is whether it's spring summer fall winter dress for the season right now is the perfect time to wear your cottons your linens your silks your um very chiffons your very light breathable clothes there's no reason to have leathers and wools and that heavy thick knits and cottons we can put those things up so it, it just that's why i say this is subjective so if you're like gee i don't know what you're talking about 
and it also do, it is very subjective because a lot of places is not hot right now but I'm just saying so yeah it's like when mixing different textures and fabrics you want to make sure that the textures and fabrics they're gonna flow together and they're also gonna be on in season like I'm not right now I'm not gonna mix um, some leather shorts just because they're shorts I'm not gonna mix some leather shorts with like a cotton shirt and a straw bag no we're not gonna do that right now is the perfect time for you to have like I said on your linens and the cottons the summer fabrics in the summer I would definitely recommend stick with summer fabrics and in the fall winter stick with the fall winter fabric so don't try to like incorporate the two like let's keep the girls very very separate and this like this once again is very subjective but as I've been scrolling I've been seeing a lot of spring summer mixed with fall winter and it's just it's clashing girls so I'm just saying. Now the next fashion mistake is going to be under and over accessorizing. When it comes to accessorizing, accessorizing can be key. Well, it I'm not going to say can be. Accessorizing is key when it comes to outfits for me, once again subjective. Um when it comes to accessorizing, if you over accessorize, it can kill your look. If you under accessorize, it can kill your look. So you want to really find that balanced proportion when it comes to um over or under accessorizing. A example of over accessorizing if I have on some chandelier earrings or a very detailed very fabulous overwhelming earring I'm not gonna wear a necklace because it's going to clash you want to kind of like balance it out or if I have on studs and I have on maybe a tube top or just a regular top that I know I'm gonna have like a little skin out once again balance proportion that's when I can go in and probably do like a stack or layered necklace vibe you have to pick one or the other if you have a lot going on with your earrings keep it very cute and simple almost nothing you don't need anything on the neck also when it comes to if I have on a high neck I don't have to layer a lot of necklaces under um over it with earrings it's just doing too much and it's taking away from the look when it comes to accessorizing you want it to complement your look you don't want it to take away and I feel like by over accessorizing trying to get like a I don't know a layered look it can just be overkill and just Takeaway. Now under accessorizing is also a thing. A lot of looks always need, I call it the finishing piece, a third piece, whatever you like to call it. That finishing piece can make or break your look, okay? And the finishing piece can be like a belt that cinches in your waist. It can be earrings. It can be a hat. It can be some shoes, boots, socks, something that's going to add a little more oomph to a look and just take it there. So that can also make or break your look, you know? So you want to just really, one, find that um, accessories balance and also know your style and kind of like play with it the next fashion mistake is going to be balanced proportions you need to make sure you are balancing out the proportions whether it's I call it the skin proportion or the clothing proportion now when it comes to skin proportion I feel like if you have you're showing boobs at the top let's cover up the bottom to balance it out or if you're showing a lot of leg at the top let's at the bottom let's cover up the top just to balance it out also when it comes to um balancing proportions with clothing me personally like if i am i have on something that's very flowy and kind of like wide or anything that's can oversized baggy at the bottom i'm gonna definitely keep my top area very fitted i may even do a crop top depending on how high waisted or whatever the pants are or skirt whatever it may be anything that's fully at the bottom i want to go very fitted at the top less um volume at the top anything that's going to be very slim and cut close to the um body kind of like contoured at the bottom that's when i'm gonna thrive at the top and give you like the volume or the the drama with the tops that's when you can you know that's when that's when I come alive girl also knowing your body proportion what looks good on your body no just trying on clothes and saying okay I don't like this it makes me a little look a little too hippie when I say hippie that mean wide in the hips um it makes me look big as a hip I don't really like this I feel like me personally I'm not the girl who can do very baggy at the bottom and like an oversized shirt because at that point it's doing nothing for my body but if I have on a very um flowy I guess let's say oversized cargo pants if I do something that's going to cinch in my waist I'm going to look phenomenal so me it took me a while to really understand my body what looks good on me and finding my um the proportion when it comes to the clothing but I feel like now that I kind of like got it that was the number one thing that really helped me stop making fashion mistakes 
once again very subjective subjective so i would definitely recommend what i do is i go in my closet i put on my playlist drink a glass of wine on maybe a saturday sunday night girl and i just play dress up okay i literally play dress up play with different textures and shapes and sizes and um different volumes and just see what works well on me i feel like playing dress up is the best way to know your style get to know your style i will say that because your style is constantly changing we live in a society where things is constantly being thrown at us so your um style is constantly evolving and changing and just that's the easiest way for me to see what I like and what fits on me so the last fashion mistake that you're probably making and I feel like we have all been here girls so don't feel bad because trust me I know I have and it's gonna be ill-fitted clothing now I have a few tips here on how to really turn this around when I say ill-fitted clothing I mean clothing that is too tight or too loose too long or too short and clothing that doesn't stay in place meaning if it's supposed to be on the shoulder I don't want to have to keep pulling it down all day pulling on my dress every time I walk my dress is going up I don't I hate those type of clothing you don't want that you want pieces that are going to make you feel confident make you feel comfortable because I feel like when you're confident in an outfit you just look you look better in it okay when it comes to ill properly fitted clothing the number one tip I can tell you girl find you somewhere that can alter your clothing like me I rather go in the store if I really like something I will go up in the size and I would just get it altered to fit me that has been the best thing I have ever done even girl even with jeans I found I used to always say I don't like jeans I just didn't like the way they fit they just did not do anything for me it's like they would fit my hips and everything else when you get to the waist I had this big gap in the back and it was just annoying when I found out you can get your jeans altered, psh, game changer, game changer. Also, find pieces, like I said, that works for you. I'm learning, I don't like clothing that is very, very tight. I used to, when I was younger, I love me anything and it's gonna be skin tight. I want it, whether it's jeans, dresses, skirts, whatever. As I get older, I don't like that. I don't like things that's very, very tight. So now I know how to shop. I'm gonna go up a size if I have to. Even if you have to go up three sizes, don't allow yourself to be uncomfortable in clothing because you wanna be in a size small when maybe I had to get a 1X. It's okay, it's not that big of a deal girl, it is clothing. No one is gonna see the tags but you. So just buy clothing that fits. And like I said, even if you go into a, um, a store and it doesn't fit you all of the places that you want and it has potential, get it altered. That's just been my, of course you're gonna spend a little bit more money, but it has, girl, it's been worth it. I'm just like dropping off bags and bags of clothes to get altered because I'm just like, this is a game changer. I first, the longest I was just buying clothes and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make it work. And then when I get, get to wear the clothes, it's just so uncomfortable because it was always something. Oh, I don't like this. I have to move this down. I am walking. I'm get find you somebody who can alter your clothes girl I promise you but don't buy the clothing too small when you buy clothing too small it's not really much that you can do when it's time to get it altered I would always recommend buying it larger so you can get it altered and tailored to fit you so that is all that I have for this video I know some of these things are like I said very subjective but these are things that really has helped me to stop making the same fashion mistakes so I can get like that very clean elegant or look whatever you want to call it that I'm going for so hopefully these um will help you especially in the spring summer I find these are the number one fashion mistakes that I always see and I actually used to make some of them myself so I hope that this video was super helpful if it was girl go ahead comment down below and I will definitely see you girls in the next video